Hello, my lovely anatomists and physiologists. Welcome back to another chapter 10 lecture topic. We left off with the steps of muscle contraction and I want to finish up that conversation with, um, you know, how does that contraction stop? How does that contraction stop? So one of the first things that's gonna happen is the neuron will stop um, signaling. So remember that the whole process of that muscle contraction is initiated when the neuron releases acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction. When the neuron stops releasing acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction, then the signal stops being transmitted to the muscle cell itself. So this is going to be an important piece. This again connects in with the neuron excuse me, with the um, nervous system really being in control of skeletal muscle contraction. Another thing that will happen is the calcium ion will be sequestered in the SR. So remember calcium ion is sequestered in the SR. The SR, remember, is our abbreviation for sarcoplasmic reticulum. The word sequester, you know, my personal definition is to store and hide. So we'll see that there are actual protein pumps that are part of the sarcoplasmic reticulum membrane that's going to actually remove that calcium from the sarcoplasm. Calcium, remember, was required for the active sites or the myosin binding sites to be available on the actin. So the next thing that we can talk about is the troponin tropomyosin complex will cover up the actin uh, myosin binding site. We also talked about it as being the active site, right? So if calcium is no longer available, the troponin tropomycin complex, remember I said that's like the balloon in between the dancing couples, right, at the middle school or the high school um, dance, you know, in the old TV shows, right? Um, so it goes back into place, right? So we put that ball, um, that balloon um, in between the actin and the myosin and, and they can't form that cross bridge anymore. And then we'll also see um, if the muscle fiber runs out of ATP, then that cell will be fatigued. Oh, goodness. So muscle fatigue, one of the factors that's happening there is we're running out of ATP. So um, ATP is required, remember, for every cross bridge detachment, and that new ATP is used then to recock and re-energize the myosin so that it can grab and do power strokes. So if we don't have ATP, you're not getting cross bridge detachment, and you're not able to do then that power stroke movement either. And so we'll see that this is going to be an important part of our muscle contraction. And that takes us into a nice segue into our next video, which is looking at, okay, what are all the different ways that cells can actually make that ATP? Stay tuned. And as always, take care of yourselves and each other.